Whoa, did you guys see that? Great form, Venom, great form. A little jerky, but that was probably just the animator's fault. Hey, today I'm continuing my build of the Venom paper model, and as you just saw, Venom's been building up quite a bit of muscle. But he wasn't always the big buff bumpkin that he is now. It took time to build that muscle. So let's go back a little bit and look at that process. To perform the deadlift, the most essential muscles required are the lower back, the lats, hamstrings, and of course, most prominently, the glutes. Astounding feats of strength need ass muscles. And on the arms, he still needs the flexors on the inside, the extensors on the outside, and the ridge muscles rounding out the forearm. And the final, final thing will be some upper back uh, stuff. Uh, what about the quads? Shut up, we're not there yet. Then, Venom will be complete. Let's go. Uh, these little tubes of paper were just added underneath the lower back muscle to make it a little firmer and less susceptible to squishing. is Venom's lower back. Only three individual pieces of paper required. Uh, it's all about separating the muscles of the body into individual pieces of paper uh, to make shaping and sculpting the paper a little bit more manageable, which is why I love muscular characters so much. Cause you can hide all the seams of paper where the separate pieces of paper would meet behind the separation of the muscle where the actual muscle would be separated if it was developed as it is on a character like Venom. Uh, this just adds to the three-dimensional look of the character by grounding them in some uh, realism. And to really round the shape, I just made four or five cuts to the lats here, folding the paper in on itself. Uh, it, it's really simple when you know how to break it down into small steps. Speaking of being simple though, ah, the glutes. <laughs> they were not simple. So I have a bit of a dilemma here. The glute muscles actually attach like all the way up here to the top of the pelvis. This is where the pelvis would be, where the obliques attach actually. And so they kind of go like all the way up. And so what I was originally thinking was I was going to just have it as like a separate piece that's kind of going to sit this high. But then I just realized something that, that if say the glute muscle is sticking up this high like that, when his leg pivots outward, it's going to kind of come inward and hit whatever's over this side. So I can't actually make it too high because it won't have the, the clearance space to pivot out because the pivot point for his leg is still here. So I'm going to have to kind of like curve it outwards a little bit like to there. I think I've got an extra tube that I'm going to stick in on this thigh here. Ugh. The structure piece of the glute will go around this and uh, well, let's just see how this goes. I'm thinking Nope, I was wrong. This structure piece here is way too straight. It's too straight up So what happens is when the leg bends it kind of sticks out and on a natural amount So just imagine if the butts actually around here on the back that's gonna be sticking out very very far So this part needs to be curved inward 
quite a bit more to round out the butt a little bit. So now with the structure piece being a lot more curved the way it is now, when his leg bends out, the butt still follows a pretty consistent arc and isn't all of a sudden sticking out here when it's meant to only be there. I now have uh, this second rough copy, which is just a blank piece of paper with like 15 or so cuts to round the shape. By my second rough copy, I already have a very, very satisfactory shape. That's, that's gonna be Venom's butt. Okay, cue the epic music. With that, all the major posterior muscles of the body on Venom are, are done, and Venom can now perform the deadlift. How does he grip the bar with that forearm? Shut up! We've got the hamstrings here on the back, going into the glutes up here, which still retain their mobility and rotate out without hitting the other side, so I fix that problem. Um, and then when bending forward, you know, it doesn't look too bad. It's still a huge gap here, but Oh, what are you gonna do? And then this floating hip section here is basically just a bikini bottom. It's kind of just to bridge the gap between his legs and his torso. And it's not the best, but it's what I've got. Oh, and then there we can see that beautiful, that beautiful lower back. Uh, still got to do the upper back uh, stuff, but we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Uh, didn't get to do the forearms. Did a barbell instead. Um, yeah. And there was one other issue. He can no longer go any further back than that because the the hip joint, this one, is hitting the inside of the glutes. So, uh, yep, didn't think about that. That was one of those issues that I was talking about that I couldn't foresee, but uh, what are you gonna do? It really needs that mobility anyway. Definitely not for the deadlift, I can tell you that. As I've said, this is the first time I've done proper glute muscles attached to the leg, as opposed to just being a sort of half-assed. And I mean that literally, like Goku is very half-assed. He's missing half of it. Kenjiro too. Katakuri got a little bit of a butt. Nothing compared to Venom's though. Never thought I'd be doing this in a video. But if you do want to play it safe, just wear a skirt. So from the back, he's almost a complete model. So now that Venom can deadlift, the question remains, how much can Venom deadlift? Uh, nothing. It's paperweight after all. <laughs> See, it's all made out of paper. All right, that was a lot of work and we are nearly there. Venom is looking more and more complete by the quarter. Apologies for this video taking a week or two longer than intended, but uh, having to record the process and think about how to put what I'm doing into words takes like twice as much effort and energy. So, but this has been a bit of a series, hasn't it? I've actually gone and put all my Venom videos into a playlist. If you wish to go back and see me bring this character to life from the beginning, there'll be a link to that playlist in the description. Also down there, you'll find a link to my Instagram where I will be posting more photos of Venom and I've already posted a few photos of Venom recently as well as some drawings and then just whatever other stuff I happen to draw. So check that out if you're interested, I'd appreciate it. And that's going to wrap up this video. I appreciate your time as always. Thank you for watching and you'll see me next time.